Good evening. I have with me Prerna Merotra, CEO Media APAC and Chief Client Officer, Densu International. Welcome, Prerna. Thank you for having me. Prerna, how would you assess the year gone by for Densu Media in the APAC region in terms of growth, in terms of client additions, etc.? Uh, I would say the overall year has been pretty good for us. Um, we're sitting in June. And, uh, you know, as a, as a team, as a collective team across Asia Pacific, we've had some great wins, uh, both at a regional and a local level. Um, I would say there is a bit of um, the, the, tech te the tech sector has caused a bit of slowdown on some of our key clients uh, as we manage a lot of global tech businesses uh, in the region. But overall, I would say the year has been pretty positive. Uh, we've had uh, some interesting wins. Uh, we won the Food Panda business. Uh, it's a food app, which we're really proud of. It's a multi-market assignment. Southeast Asia was the key market. Uh, we were actually the incumbent in uh, Taiwan, and we expanded the relationship beyond um, Taiwan. So Southeast Asia, Hong Kong, Philippines were the markets that got added in as a part of that assignment. We will also be shortly announcing a big win in Philippines. I hope it comes out next week. So I won't give the names out, but really excited to have that client on board. Um, and in, in addition to that, we've also had a lot of uh, local clients that have uh, come, become a part of the Densu family. Uh, we've also won uh, uh, the Tata AIA business in India. Uh, our India team has done an exceptional job in adding a lot of new logos. So Berger Paints was a recent win that we've had uh, in the India market as well. So yeah, some great momentum in 2023 so far. In addition to being the CEO Media APAC, you also donned the hat of Chief Client Officer. This was a newly created role, specially created for you. What would you say are the top three things on your agenda when it comes to delivering an elevated client experience? Um, I guess uh, when I joined Densu seven years ago, um, you know, we, we had the ambition of always making sure that we created uh, an organization design within Densu that is aligned to our clients. And the whole intent of creating that, um, that design was to drive client centricity and to support our connected capabilities. So in my, in my new role, uh, the top three things that I want to focus on is, um, you know, make sure that we are becoming the trusted advisors for our clients and the partners that enable them to drive growth. And we believe that growth will be driven through innovation and integration. And that's the first priority for us. Uh, what we also want to do is enable them to have a frictionless experience uh, across uh, all, our, all of our capabilities and the required capabilities that they would require to drive the growth that they need in the categories that they operate in. And finally, um, the third one, and which is the one that I'm very passionate about, is the fact that, that I want to create a community of strong client leaders that are empowered and are really able to deliver agility and accountability on this business and the client's business. But what is the challenging in balancing the dual role? Because uh, driving innovation, relative con relevant content and creativity within the agency and also delivering on the client expectation, which is always a challenge. So I think what's interesting for me is that, uh, you know, I've, I've been a media girl my whole life. I started my career in media. And uh, interestingly enough, Densu's biggest business is media. And, you know, it's the largest for us globally uh, as, a, as a service line. And with that, this role is more of an extension of what I'm going to do. But now I'm going to do it at a broader Densu level. So um, for, I, I would say it, it, it gives me the opportunity to extend the expertise that I had delivered running the media business for the last 28 months now to creating this client organization. In terms of challenges, I would say that, you know, we're seeing a lot of short termism, you know, when we engage with clients, you know, so what we what we want to start to strive and drive is how do we get our clients to start to focus on the near, but also to start looking at what's next, you know, and that's where we want to spend the time. So, you know, working with them and creating innovation roadmaps. You know, working with them and really identifying who is going to be the next, uh, you know, 
category of consumers that are going to drive the required growth from them. So a lot of the focus is going to be around driving the next. So the challenge, I guess, is how do you strike a balance between what you need to deliver today as a business and the long-term vision that we want to create with them for their categories and brands. So you're basically looking not just to uh, deliver the client expectations of today, but you're also looking to make Densu and your client future ready. Absolutely. Uh, and I think there is a very beautiful uh, line that our uh, that Jensu Japan has been using for years. Uh, it's uh, you know it's called Igio, and it's an individual that has a business producer mindset. So the whole intent of this uh, client centric organization is to ensure that we all act as Igios, as trusted partners, and as an extension of their marketing team that supports them to become ready for the future. But you know the client right now, uh, they also, uh, you know, they have a pressure to get the maximum reach for every buck spent. Does innovation, creativity, you know, get diluted when the focus is so much on ROI and the margins are shrinking and the budget is limited? Um, I would say that uh, clearly, um, you know, with the with the economic situation that we are in and, you know, the slowdowns in categories that you've seen over the last few years, um, ROI is a hot topic. Um, I wouldn't deny that. And, uh, you know, every client wants to work with a partner that enables them to give them the maximum bang for the buck. But, um, you know, there's some interesting work we had done <clears throat> in analytics. It was a, it was a quantitative uh, and a qualitative research that we did a, a few years ago uh, where we were trying to come up with the drivers, 10 top 10 drivers of what it takes you to build brand growth or drive brand growth. And uh, and the idea was to articulate um, you know, the impact they're likely to have on brand growth. And the number two, the second um, that topped the list was creativity. Um, so creativity, in my view, is one of the key drivers of brand growth uh, for all the clients that we work with. Uh, you know, at, at Densu and based on this research. So the whole intent is that how do you strike a balance between delivering the ROI but also uh, supporting the clients on constantly innovating and being creative about the use of media and being creative about the use of platforms so that we can actually drive, um, I would say, more attentive reach because uh, in today's day and age, it's very, very difficult to get the attention of the audience, um, you know, that we are, we are targeting. So therefore, I would say, um, you know, creating that seamless experience and really driving creative experiences, which are omni-channel, would enable us to not just deliver an ROI, but also deliver business growth for our clients. So what are you, some learnings, if you can share from this, you know, omni-channel, seamless consumer experience, is if you could share some examples about that, or any brand we've worked, uh, you know, which uh, did, uh, which the way the campaign worked very well. So I think, um, I wouldn't say it's one single campaign for a particular client. I think we have, um, you know, started to work a lot more closer with creative agencies um, in the last, and it, it, within Densu and even outside, uh, you know, be the partner who is able to put media at the forefront of, of what we do. Because uh, what we've realized and what we know of is that people live their lives through media. That's what we're doing here today. You know, the, the amount of time a, a, in a, a person in a person's day in the life, two thirds of your time is spent in media doing various things. And mobile has really got us very closely connected as a as a group. Right, we're constantly at it. So what we've started to do is with a lot of our clients is putting media at the, at the forefront of everything we do and work with them on briefs uh, and have a seat on the table right at the onset when creative briefs are shared. So there's been a lot of work on the ways of engagement and the processes that we have used to work with clients on big launches, to work with clients on uh, you know, sustaining campaigns so that it's a joint effort between creative and media uh, you know, to really deliver uh, this experience to the consumer.
So now creative and media cannot exist in silo. It's a collaboration that is the way ahead. Yes, that's absolutely right. And I think uh, there is a there is a there is a concept of horizontal creativity that we talk a lot about at Densu. And horizontal creativity is all about uh, connections and how do you move away from just being a paid media partner to a partner that is truly able to deliver customer lifetime value for our clients. So it's all about linking the dots between paid, owned and earned, but more importantly, making sure that creative, media and CRM work hand in hand in really uh, helping our clients to win, keep and grow their best customers.